What's happening? It's Shane here. So we did it. We hit 50k subs. The channel's been growing like crazy the last few months and it's been awesome. The war against the YouTube algorithm is going okay. We've won some battles. We've lost some battles, but overall we're continuing to fight. And thank you guys for the video suggestions and also always remembering to immediately, without me even saying it, smash the like button to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. So I posted this uh, on the community tab a while back uh, to have you guys just, you know, leave some really good questions for me to answer. And I'm gonna try to go through most of them in this video. And then I also get questions over and over again on some of my videos. They're like the same ones over and over again. And so I'm gonna try to answer those in this video as well. Okay, all right, so I got my phone here. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Dima says, uh, you're the best. I honestly do not trust anyone but you. Could you teach us real estate? Question mark. Also speak on cybersecurity and IT. Any recommendations on how to start fixing computers and learning about them. You're the best YouTube ever. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dima. I'm definitely not the best YouTuber ever, um, but I'm getting better at making these videos, so I appreciate that. Uh, cybersecurity and IT, I'll probably make a video on that in the future. Any recommendations on how to start fixing computers and learning about them? I think that's a great side hustle. I have a friend who actually started a business doing that sort of thing. Um, and that's all he does. Like he doesn't have a degree or anything. He just started a business like that. Great side hustle. Might be one that I go over in the future. Could you teach us real estate at this point? No, because I haven't invested in real estate myself. Uh, I have a lot of family members that are real estate agents or they invest in real estate. Um, so I could speak for them, I guess, but I don't like to speak on things that I feel like I'm not an expert on myself. There is specific reasons why I haven't invested in real estate up to this point, and I might make a video about that. I think that real estate is an amazing investment. Uh, it's one of my top two investments overall in terms of long term, but there are specific reasons why I prefer index fund investing at this point in my life, and I'll probably make a video about that. Carl uh, Pasquale says, I feel like you would be a good good economist because all your vids are topics that an economist would be interested in answering. Yeah, definitely. Um, I find economics extremely interesting. Thanks, Carl. Browner Jerry says, I stay awake well past 2 a.m. to watch your videos as I am on the dealer side of the globe, bleh, the globe at the time. I think I deserve a heart at least. There you go, there's your heart. I appreciate you staying up for the videos, that's awesome. Success Short says, Shane, when are you going to make a course about picking the best college degrees or careers? Yeah, I get this one all the time um, just because of the fact that you know, I can give you guys general advice on this channel and kind of just tell you about the different degrees, but a lot of people need more specific advice. So they either want to talk to me or they want maybe a course to help them do it. So I get this question all the time. YouTube is not really the best way to do long form like tutorial style content like you would find in a course. So I'm looking into a couple different ones, like maybe uh, I might do Skillshare or I might do teachable.com or something like that and make a course. Um, but at this point, um, I'm mostly just focused on the YouTube channel. Can you make a Patreon or something for people that need advice fast? Again, that's another one that I've thought about doing because a lot of people have you know, very specific situations where they need you know, specific advice, they need me to ask them questions, get feedback and all that sort of thing. So this is another one that I've thought about doing. Um, I feel like that would be pretty easy to set up um, so I might end up doing that in the future. We'll see. One of the most honest YouTube channels ever. Thank you for all you do. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Schiff Finance and Entrepreneurship says, how are you able to put out quality content so frequently and consistently? Also, what are some key tips to growing as quickly as you have? So basically for that 30 day challenge, uh, the way I was able to do so much content one video a day was I batched the content. So before I even started the challenge, I already had all the scripts written for all 30 days and I had probably, I'd say maybe 10 of the videos edited, maybe a little bit more than that and ready to go. And so it was really more like a 20 day challenge because I already had a head start on it. And plus I'd done all the research, I'd written all the scripts, which takes a long time as well. So I just had to record the videos and uh, edit them and then upload them. Uh, highly recommend batching content if you can. You do have to be careful with how many videos you record in one day. I've tried recording a lot of videos in one day before and it, you know, you just get really tired after a while and then you start talking like this on camera because you feel like crap. And uh, people don't really like that. 
Uh, the videos don't tend to do very well. And so, yeah, try to batch maybe three videos. Just do, you know, record three videos, write the scripts for three videos, you know, the ideas, do the research, uh, record three videos, edit three of them, and then upload and optimize three of them. And that's a lot more efficient than just doing one video at a time. Kia says, is there a particular reason you wear the same black shirt in every video? Wow, um, I actually wear like three different black shirts. Thank you very much. And then I have like 10 of the same black t-shirt. So it's not the same black shirt in every video. But yeah, so there is a reason I did that. When I first started using uh, cameras, I just did not know how to use them at all. And I basically put everything on auto, like auto focus, auto white balance, auto ice ISO, just auto everything. And one thing that I noticed is when I put different color shirts on, it would change like so much about the color of the video and everything. And I had the gray background, so I, I wanted the color a certain way because of the gray background. And so I was just like, screw it, I'll just wear a black shirt because it seems like these are the settings that the camera likes so you can see the gray background. And then after I figured out how to use the camera, I didn't need to do that anymore. I still just kept it that way just because it's almost like a meme at this point. So yeah, whatever. I guess I'm a creature of habit. Fat voyeur recommendations for international students wanting to study in the United States. That's a really good question. Um, I don't even know if I can give any good advice over a short video like this. So I will look into maybe making a video about that. I'm Davis says, if you could go back in time and pick a different major, which one would you choose? Well, first of all, I wouldn't pick a different major if I could go back in time. Uh, the one that I picked, pharmacy, is really good for me. It's a good fit for me. Doesn't mean it's a good fit for all of you, okay? I think I have people that are like, oh, I'm gonna do pharmacy just because I heard you're a pharmacist. Don't, please, please don't do that. Uh, it's a good fit for me for my own personal reasons, which I've explained in other videos and I might even make more videos about. Um, but if I had to pick another major, I'd probably go with a different healthcare degree most likely. So I'd probably go with physician assistant or nurse practitioner. And if you say that I can't pick a healthcare degree, I'd probably go for maybe computer science, uh, management information systems, uh, which would be kind of a technology slash business degree, something along those lines. And again, those are good for me. That doesn't necessarily mean they would be good for everybody else. Every person's different, every situation's different. That's why you have to really do your research and see what's best for you. Adam says, what do you do for a living? Also, your memes are underrated. Thank you so much, Adam, I appreciate that. Uh, I am a pharmacist. Vanilla Cream says, I'm assuming you've won a scholarship or more. What is an essential tip you could give? I'm relying on pure luck at this point. Actually, Vanilla, I made an entire video about that. It's called Free Money for College or How to Get Free Money for College, something along those lines. Um, I'll try to link that uh, right here if I can remember, but I can probably make more videos on it in the future because I haven't really delved too deep into the subject. King Shep says, uh, does it matter what college you go to to be successful in a job like financial analyst? So that's a controversial topic, King Shep. But anyways, most of the time is the best bet for you is to just go to the cheapest college possible. So that means first two years community college and then you transfer to a state college that's in-state, so you pay in-state tuition and it's a lot cheaper. With that being said, if you can get into an Ivy League, like a top, top level school that has a lot of clout, there are some doors that that could potentially open for you based on your specific situation, based on the degree you're taking, what your goals are, etc. If you can get into a school that's like top five or top 10 for whatever major you're going for, that can also work out in very rare situations. So for example, in pharmacy, I believe it's uh, San Francisco University or the University of San Francisco. I I'm pretty sure they're the number one pharmacy school. And so if I had a specific goal where I wanted to work for, you know, one of the top companies or something like that, I might have chosen to go to SFU or tried to get into SFU. But again, that's on a very situation to situation basis. So in general, your best bet is to just do it as cheaply as possible. Usually, you know, an engineer that goes to a normal school and gets their engineering degree versus an engineer that goes to a top level engineering school they're probably not going to make that much more. What really matters at that point are internships, skills, how well you can sell yourself, 
and all kinds of other things. Melissa says, what are your thoughts on going to military to pay for college and what are some things that we should watch out for? That's a great video idea, Melissa. Um, I There's no way that I could explain that in this video, but it can be a very good choice for some people to get all of their schooling paid um, using the GI Bill, which you can get uh, going to the military. There's definitely some downsides and there's definitely some upsides to it. And so I will probably make a video on that in the future. Juan Traconis says, why did you start your career on YouTube? So I actually tried to start like a bunch of other random channels. Um, I think my first ever channel way back in the day was, this is embarrassing actually, a RuneScape channel. Um, so I've always just been kind of drawn to YouTube. I like YouTube a lot. And um, so it kind of just made sense for me to start making videos. Which are the most common Common mistakes or regrets of people after going through college. I think I made a video about that already, like the, the biggest regrets that people have uh, going through college. It didn't do very well, um, but definitely the biggest one was student loans. Do you have any tips for international students to get scholarships? That I will have to try to look up and make a video on it if there's enough people that are interested in it. What is the difference between a dual degree and a combined major? That's a really good question and I don't think I've gone into that enough. Um, but basically a combined major would be like electromechanical engineering, which would be the combination of electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Uh, whereas a dual degree would be taking electrical engineering and mechanical engineering both at once and getting both of those degrees. So that would be like double majoring. Some programs offer these degrees that are kind of fused together and you know you're basically it's a combined major and it's essentially kind of the same thing as getting two different degrees what is an information systems degree about that's a very good question and i will probably be making a video on that in the future have a good day and thank you a lot for your videos thanks juan cole says computer engineering or computer science uh, they're both excellent, so just go with the one that you're more interested in. Thugishwar Krishna, can you please tell us how to get into Ivy League for post-graduation studies as an international student? Big, fran, uh, big fan from India, sir. Thank you so much for being a fan. I appreciate that. Um, that is a very specific question. Uh, I get into Ivy League for post-grad for international students. That's a super specific question. Um, so again, I might be able to make a video on that in the future, but it's just such a specific question that uh, um, I don't know how many people would be interested in that. And to be honest with you, I don't know how to do that because that's so specific. Ivy League, postgrad, and international. Um, yeah, hope maybe someone down in the comments can help him out with that. Gabe Itch 69 did you consider going into a different major than pharmacy? Yes, I definitely did. I uh, looked at probably 10 or 20 different majors. Um, I believe I did a video on that. I think it was called How to Choose the Perfect College Degree for You, which kind of goes through my mindset during that time. It's not exactly what I did, but it's more or less an example that is very similar to what I did. Fizzy Flair, king of guilting me into subscribing. Yeah, I was going really hard for uh, 50K subs uh, by the end of June, so I started <laughs> asking people to subscribe a lot. Sorry about that, guys. I won't do that in the future. David Zhang, at what age did you think about picking a career? Um, even as a young guy, I think I started thinking about it even as a very young guy, probably eight years old or something. But obviously I was thinking about like being a football player or a boxer or a soldier or whatever eight year olds want to be. But I think I started seriously thinking about it around 16, 17 years old. Eunice Guerrera, what is your advice about changing careers? For example, going from a social science field to a technical field. Again, that's another one that would probably take an entire video to do. And I do have one video that kind of relates to this that's, uh, in my plans right now. Basically, you really wanna watch out for the grass is greener on the other side syndrome. Make sure that you talk to people that are doing a career and shadow them and do your due diligence to make sure the statistics look good and all that sort of thing before you decide to quit your career and just jump into another one because it's very easy to fall for that the grass is greener on the other side thing. So just basically make sure you do your research before you switch careers. That's one of those big decisions that could potentially take up years of your life. You might have to go back to school and spend thousands of dollars you know, in order to get your degree. So with big important decisions like that, you really wanna take your time 
and look at things carefully. Orange, what is the ultimate goal you have for your life career YouTube channel? And at what point do you think you can confidently say, I finally did it? First of all, cool username and, and emoji picture there. That's cool. Uh, second of all, ultimate goal you have for your life career YouTube channel. At this point, my big thing is I just want to retire by the age of 40, or actually I wanna be able to retire by the age of 40. So I guess that would be my ultimate goal. It's all about the FIRE movement. Uh, if you guys are familiar with that, financial independence, retire early, I'm into the FIRE movement. So I wanna be able to retire uh, at the age of 40, somewhere between 35 and 40 would be great, but 40 on the long end. And in terms of the uh, YouTube channel, I guess my goal right now is just to get to 100,000 subscribers. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on now. When it comes to goals, I'm not a big fan of planning too far ahead. I have a general idea of the direction I'm going with the channel, um, but in terms of setting goals where I'm like, oh, I wanna hit this milestone by this date, uh, I don't like to look too far ahead. So, you know, I'll get to 100,000 subscribers and the next goal will be 200,000 and the next goal will be 300,000. It's better to just take it one step at a time in my opinion. KPP, what are your qualifications or study background and what's your backstory? Uh, I uh, am a pharmacist and I got a doctorate in pharmacy, PharmD is what it's known as. Um, backstory, I might make more videos about that sort of thing in the future. You can probably check out a little bit of it in my other videos, but I might make more like story time videos just to tell you guys a little bit more about myself but um, in terms of my qualifications I went all the way through the education system um, from you know undergrad all the way to getting my doctorate so I really know how the education system the college degree system works and I want to make that whole process which is a nightmare for so many people a little bit easier. Ling So, could you share your thoughts on courses, especially bachelor's degrees, that will or will not be replaced by AI in the future? Curious face. Yeah, so I can definitely share my thoughts on that. I've made videos kind of hinting at that in the future, like future-proof degrees and that sort of thing. One place you could check is, uh, there's a pretty cool website called willrobotstakemyjob.com. It will basically tell you what the likelihood of your job being automated is. I don't think it's completely accurate. It was based off of a scientific study that they did on you know, the likelihood of certain tasks being automated and all that sort of thing. I talked about that in my accounting video Video actually whether accounting degree is worth it or not and the conclusion that I came to is some of the lower level accounting jobs will be outsourced or automated however a lot of the time when stuff gets automated that actually creates more jobs so as long as you're willing to continue learning you should not have an issue uh, with stuff being automated as an accountant, for instance. But there's some jobs and careers that I absolutely do think are going to be automated, so I'll probably go over that in the future. What university did you go to for undergraduate? University of Kansas uh, in Lawrence, Kansas. So I went to KU, I'm a Jayhawk. Trish Ann Ramirez, you totally deserve it, cheers. Thank you, Trish, appreciate that. Uh, okay, Melissa Williams, how do you find the willpower to make so many content? Yeah, it's just, uh, I really like making the content. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll make a video about that. I think willpower is a little bit overrated. It's more about kind of setting up your environment and habits and just doing it. That's the big thing, just do it, do the work. Um, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll maybe make a video about that in the future. Vaibhav Yadav, namaste. My question is why US government spends a lot of uh, uh, money on military but doesn't on making college affordable. Namaste to you as well. And um, yeah, that's a very good question and the answer to that is extremely complicated. I think I made a video where I went over why college is so expensive. I believe I called it something along the lines of why is college so expensive or something like that. I, I honestly forgot the name of the video, but I kind of went over the factors that led to United States college degrees being just unbelievably expensive. Kindle Fire, food technology explained. Awesome, okay, cool video idea. Adrian K, can you do a full video on the types of uh, pharmaceutical and how hard it is? Yeah, uh, a lot of people asked me to make videos on pharmacy. Um, I thought it was pretty hard myself. It was pretty tough for me, but for some people it's probably pretty easy. For some people it's even tougher. So it's just kind of person to person. Um, and yeah, I can definitely make a video like that in the future. 
You know, uh, most of the people on this channel probably aren't very interested in seeing a video on pharmacy, maybe like one or 2% of the people on this channel. So I'm actually thinking about potentially making a second channel where I put requests like that um, and just uploading it to a second channel. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll definitely be making videos on that in the future one way or another. Yo, Shane, do you think university from which you graduate matters or it really depends on the student? Definitely depends on the student. Usually, as a general rule, it doesn't matter as long as it's accredited and it's a respected university. Some of the online ones, you probably know which ones they are, are not so respected. But generally, if you go to like a community college for your first two years and then you transfer those credits to an in-state school, you're gonna be fine. There are very specific situations if you have a particular goal in the future where going to a you know Ivy League or a really good university might help you. Melissa Williams, why did you start a YouTube channel? So this particular channel, um, you know, I was doing YouTube uh, years ago, like I started started like a RuneScape channel way back in the day, but this particular channel, um, the reason I started it is because I kind of just wish that somebody made a channel like this for me when I was trying to choose what career that I wanted to get into. And I saw how difficult it was for myself as well as a bunch of my friends going through the process of choosing their college major, figuring out what they wanna do with their life. It's a very difficult process and I wanted to just make that a little bit easier for people because there's so many traps out there that you can easily fall into. Some of them I fell into myself, some of them I was able to see and avoid, but I wanted to make a channel to talk about those sorts of things. Pob Sar Duct Tape Production. I already assume this to be true, but I'll ask anyway. You do pull more in a week than I will in my entire life, right? <laughs> No. Rick Dom, biggest lesson you've learned over the last year on YouTube. Congrats on almost 50K. Been watching you for a while. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Looks like you uh, have about one and a half thousand subscribers, vidIQ extension is telling me. So you're doing the comment method. You're over a thousand subscribers now. That's great. Stop doing the comment method. Once you're over a thousand subscribers, once you've gotten monetized, just purely focus on making videos. Comment method isn't going to help you out past 1,000 subscribers. So, in terms of lessons for where you are right now, I think you should just focus purely on making videos and making good videos that people wanna see. So maybe you found your niche, maybe you haven't found your niche. If you haven't, just think of a bunch of different video ideas that are things that interest you and things that people might wanna see. Make a bunch of different ones and eventually, you just gotta grind it out. Eventually, the algorithm will pick up one of those ideas and it could be in a random subject and then once it picks up one of those ideas, you need to start making a bunch of videos on that subject. Once you get to a certain level on YouTube, you can post videos like Jenna Marbles. She posts like the silliest videos, like look at my dog or my dog ate my sock and she gets millions and millions of views. But when you're small, you have to be relatively niche and you have to be very careful about what types of videos you post. Why? Congratulations, what's your best advice for choosing a degree and what inspired your channel? This channel is my best advice for choosing a degree, the whole channel. Uh, watch my channel, that's my best advice. Thank you for the congratulations, I appreciate it. Jansen NG, why do you decide to help people for free? So Jansen, that's a very good question and I'd probably have to make a whole video to explain why, but just a TLDR really quick summary. You know, I'm somebody who's interested in personal finance and entrepreneurship and all that sort of thing. And I started watching YouTube on all kinds of different ways of making money online and entrepreneurship and personal finance. And over the years, I realized that most of the advice given is really, really really bad. You know, you have a few channels here and there that come along and actually give good advice, but especially when it comes to college degrees, the advice I hear out there in this particular time period is awful. I mean, it might have been true 30 years ago, 40 years ago that you can just get any degree and it's great, but if you're going, you know, you're spending $80,000, $40,000 in debt in order to get a degree, you have to treat it like an investment and you have to make sure that you're getting a good one. And I just realized that there were no channels on YouTube that were giving people a realistic look at what that whole process is like. 
And so there was a huge void for me to start making these types of videos. Melissa Williams, are you friends with any YouTubers? Um, so I do talk to quite a few YouTubers in the DMs. I only know one YouTuber on a personal level, like we're really good friends that um, has like a big channel and that's Sam Fawaz. He's a photographer, really good friend of mine that I uh, met in Las Vegas. But I do talk to other YouTubers in the DMs and I might be doing some uh, collaborations and stuff like that in the future. Jennifer, did you get a degree or would you want to go back to school? If so, for what? Yep, I uh, got a PharmD. Would I want to go back to school? No. Gianluca Mazzi, what was your experience with college and your career after? Also, do you think college is worth it for the social aspect along with building responsibility? and individualism in a person? That's a very good question, Gianluca. So one of the big selling points of college is the fact that it is a totally unique experience, especially if you go to like a state college, you know, you're gonna have the party experience and all that sort of thing. It truly is a unique experience. There's probably nothing else that's like it in the world. That doesn't mean that it's any better than if you decided to go travel the world for four years, right? So if you took that same amount of money and you decided to go travel the world and maybe try to do an online business or freelance or something like that, you know, you might have a better experience than your college experience, but it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. In terms of building responsibility and individualism in a person, if you go for one of the tougher degrees, it will probably build some responsibility, absolutely. And in terms of uh, individualism in a person, I think anything you do, you're going to, you know, form some individualism and like figure out who you are and what you like and all that sort of thing. So my best advice for that is just try a bunch of different things. And then my experience was with college, I uh, had a good experience and my experience with my career, I enjoy my career. I have a good experience. Jin Tang, wow, 50K subs. I remember when it was 1.5K subs. Deserve all the success. My question is, you mentioned about hoping to retire at 30 years old. How do you plan on doing that? What you're doing, your technique, method, steps, etc. Thank you. So actually, I'm pretty sure I said either 35 or 40 years old in that video, Jin. Um, if I said 30, that was a mistake. I don't reply, uh, plan on retiring at 30. Actually, I don't plan on retiring at any time. Um, it's just that I want to be able to retire. So I wanna have the freedom to be able to retire if I want to, but chances are I probably won't. And in terms of my uh, technique method steps, I would highly recommend looking up the FIRE movement. That's the Financial Independence Retire Early movement. Uh, there's a lot of videos about it here on YouTube and you can also look it up on Reddit as well. And basically there's a lot to it, but you know, you save, you invest, you keep uh, your lifestyle at a certain level. Even if you start making more money, you don't fall into the trap of lifestyle inflation where you spend more money when you make more money and a bunch of other things like that. Definitely check out the FIRE movement. And also keep watching my videos because a lot of my videos are very closely related to that. Metahan says, how did you deal with burnout when getting your PharmD? Yeah, I put a lot on my plate when I was getting my PharmD. I was working part-time. I was doing side hustles, side businesses. Uh, you know, I was president of my class and I was getting my PharmD. So I would say I probably did burn out. Um, big thing whenever you feel like you're a little bit fried or burned out, I found this is just from my own personal experience, is to just exercise. Exercise every single day, even if it's just five to 10 minutes, do 30 push-ups, just do at least one small exercise every single day. Once you start to do that, it'll get you kind of going in the right direction and then you can add other habits on like meditating, uh, eating healthy, and all that sort of thing, but I feel like it all starts with exercise. Haley says, you totally deserve it, congrats. Thank you so much, Haley, I appreciate it. Zachary says, you focus on USA, but are there any other channels that you have found that kind of do the same thing that you do, but for other countries? Um, I don't believe there are any other channels like that. I'm not 100% sure, Zachary. Uh, some of the advice that I give is something that you can take for other countries and then some of it's not. It really just depends on the careers and all that sort of thing that you're going into. A lot of it has to do with uh, laws and that sort of thing as well. So it's really hard to say, but I mean, a lot of the general advice still applies, like computer science, learning software development, that's gonna be good for you pretty much no matter where you live. Zachary also says, how much time do you spend planning your intros? Lately, they have been really funny. Uh, I do actually spend a good amount of time planning my intros, uh, sometimes up to like an hour 
for for an intro just writing the script and like looking up videos and stuff like that to to plan the intro so i do spend a lot of time thank you for appreciating it xander what are the best ways to help pay for college uh, i think i made a whole video about that um basically how to pay for college for free or something along those lines somebody else also asked that question earlier david you deserve it thank you david i appreciate it smoker x you're keeping us not homeless I wouldn't go that far, but I, I appreciate it, Smoker. That's awesome. Thank you for saying that. M. Simran, could you go full-time YouTubing? Uh, yeah, at this point, I could go full-time YouTubing if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to probably for a long time. This is a question I get all the time because I enjoy my career. It would have to make sense for me to go full-time YouTubing for me to do it. Like, I just don't have enough time. Um, but right now, I'm just taking it easy, just trying to get to 100K subs, just, you know, focusing on my goals and stuff. And, um, I'm just taking it as it comes. So what direction do you want to take this channel? Real estate? Uh, I don't want to take this channel in the real estate direction, although I'll probably talk about real estate in the future. I think real estate is a fantastic investment one of the two best long-term investments that you can make. I also think that there are a lot of channels out there that give really, really bad real estate advice. But in terms of the direction um, that I wanna take this channel, I'm just gonna keep talking about personal finance, um, degrees, careers, all that sort of thing, whatever you guys keep suggesting. Ahmad, uh, can you make a video about vocational degree? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, put that in the list if a lot of people wanna see that. Omar Aragon Satello, are you my dad? He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy. Wrong DNA. I don't think so, Omar. Jansen, how do you manage your time so wisely? I have a very simple time management method. I always like to keep things as simple as possible. Basically, I, I might make a video about this because there's more to it than this, but basically I plan tomorrow today. So I use little flashcards like this and I write down what I'm planning on doing the next day and I stick to that. Pretty much come hell or high water, I stick to that plan. It's not always perfect, but I usually am able to get that stuff done. You have to be kind of realistic. Sometimes uh, you write the day before and you think you can just get all this stuff done and then you realize that you can't. So you have to be somewhat realistic, but yeah, that's basically how I plan my days. That's my time management method. Um, there's a little more to it than that. I might make a video if people are interested. What do you do for a living? Bean EER. I am a pharmacist. Thompson NG. What to do if graduating this summer? Enjoy yourself, Thompson. Good job, man. You graduated. Kind of not a great time to graduate because you probably didn't even get to, you know, throw your hat up and walk up on the stage and stuff. And that sucks. But yeah, enjoy yourself. I don't know if you have a job lined up, but start you know, looking into jobs, making yourself more marketable, building your skills, uh, doing things that you're interested in. Melissa Williams, which pays more, YouTube or your job? Definitely my job. Lights off, what inspired you to make college slash job-based videos? The fact that there's almost no good resources out there and the few out there that I saw generally were not very good advice. So there's a whole lot of noise in one direction, a whole lot of marketing money being spent on it and a whole lot of noise in one direction. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you've got all these entrepreneur YouTube channels that say their college degree is a total scam, blah, 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 blah. So you've got these two completely different viewpoints. And of course the truth is somewhere in the middle. Certain college degrees are a very you know, good investment and other college degrees are kind of a little bit of a scam. So that's what I wanted to make this channel about. Nayan Narula, what did you major in? Pharmacy, PharmD. Mario Alberto Flores Jr., rate your college experience one to 10. I'll give it like an eight, 8.5. It was pretty good. Nicholas Thames, how does the FAFSA work? Okay, FAFSA, ugh, can't pronounce that, is uh, basically how you get your um, money for undergrad, how you get a loan for undergrad. And uh, there's plenty of videos on how that works on YouTube. And there's also plenty of resources on how that works. But if enough people want me to make it, I can make a video about that. Big guy, what are your goals for the channel? Right now, my goal is 100,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. Juan, I know you are a farmer pharmacist, but which degree did you get in order to become one? And would you pick another one if you could? And what is your job right now besides YouTuber? So yes, uh, my job is I'm a pharmacist. Um, what degree did you get to become one? I got my PharmD. Would I pick another one if I could? I actually wouldn't. No, I'm very happy with the degree I got. 
I might make more videos about that because a lot of people are very curious about why I chose this degree. Um, I know I ranked it, I think in health degrees, I ranked it in like B tier. It's a pretty good degree overall. Um, it's not, it definitely has its issues. A lot of people seem to be curious about that. So I probably will make another video about that in the future. Sophia, if you had the freedom to choose any major with no bad consequences, good job satisfaction, decent salaries, etc., besides history, which one would you go for? I would go for this one. I'm I'm very happy with this degree. Why did you stop working as a pharmacist? Rizalian. I didn't. I didn't stop working as a pharmacist. I get that comment a lot. People think I stopped working. I'm not sure why. Vok to Vok. It is not a question, but I think it would be much better if you spent your time answering questions about yourself, your experiences, what would you do different, etc., and not YouTube content questions. It is much more important for us to get to know you better rather than get an answer to something we can research about. Yeah, this is a really good point. A lot of people keep on uh, bringing this up. I think when you first start a YouTube channel, people don't really care about you. They just care about the information that you're talking about. And then as you start to grow bigger and bigger, you kind of like form a relationship with your subscribers and stuff and they actually get curious about you and your personal life. And so I can see a lot of people are starting to get curious about that. So I think I'll probably start putting more personal stories into my videos and also maybe even make entire videos just telling stories and all that sort of thing. That's a great suggestion. So thank you for that. Angry, how has quarantine been for you? You know, at first it wasn't that big of a deal just because I kind of see myself as an introvert. So I, you know, didn't really think it was going to affect me that much. And it didn't really at first, but I would say that my mood has gone down a little bit because I haven't been able to go to the gym, the gym's been closed, and then I really just haven't been spending as much time outside, haven't been hanging out with my friends as much. You know, you can't go out to dinners and stuff with your friends. That was something that I did that I kind of took for granted and uh, I kind of miss it a lot. Um, but yeah, overall quarantine's been okay for me. Um, I'd say my mood has gone down a little bit, but you know, not too bad. Um, I'd say everyone should try to get out and go hiking and, and exercise and all that sort of thing because uh, it's definitely been hard for a lot of people. Okay, so that was the video. Um, I will do another Q&A, maybe 75,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, something like that. But I hope I answered all the questions. These are some of the ones that I get the most. Uh, some of them were kind of the same thing over and over again, but uh, I think you guys get the picture here. As always, check out my other videos. Make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below.